Hi, we're here with more Rick and Scripted Football Times, and of course the Jets are coming back. Uh, in real, in, you know, realization here, the Jets are uh, on paper are a better football team than New England Patriots. They have a lot of offensive we uh, weapons. Garrett Wilson, um, the other receiver, I forget his name. Um, there's two of them that are really good. They're not real household name, but Garrett Wilson's pretty badass. He's leading, the, you know, in the league for receptions and touchdowns and stuff. But with Zach Wilson uh, in there, he get mobility, and, and, you know, he just got a few sacks that he let the, you know, defense hit him with. It's all points, people. That's how they get you. They get you to bet on these rigged and scripted games, and it's the points, the unders and overs. And in this division, if the Jets lose, they'll be 5-3. and three. And if Buffalo loses, they'll be 5-3. and three. And then, uh, you know, the whole division will be all close. Miami's 5-3, and three, I think. They'll all be... Five, two, and three, and stuff like that. It's all for drama. They have these games predetermined way ahead of time. Who's going to be in the Super Bowl? Who's going to win the Super Bowl? How many points? It's all done that way. It's all deception. This is a, uh, you know, the Patriots have been dominating them the whole entire game, and then with three minutes left in the game or a minute and a half left in the game, they're all of a sudden they're back in the game. The drama. Every game is like this. Unfortunately, you know, that's not how football is. It's not, you know, every game is not a nail-biter. You know, the only game, like I was telling everybody about the Steelers and Eagles game, uh, how how that goes back and forth, and, you know, and then every 10 years there's a huge blowout, and I was telling people, you know, be prepared that, you know, that it could be a big blowout like that because every few years when the Eagles play the Steelers, they have – you know, games where there's two, three touchdown differentials in the game. But most of the time, it was it all would be like 21 to 17. Or I've even seen one game where they won, you know, the Steelers won by a point, And then a couple years later, you know, the Eagles won by a field goal. So it's back and forth. But it's all rigged on points. And you know, that's a sucker bet. I've never seen pro teams underdogs in football by 10 points until this year. And 11 points, that is a lot of points for pros because you have, uh, in legit, in uh, straight football times, you have people that can kick 50-yard field goals and 60-yard field goals. And don't be surprised if there's a turnover in this game to make it close. But it's all points. The Jets just fucked your guys' points up is what happened. And uh, whoever, you know, what the, I'm not sure what the point spread was today, but they basically just change the point spread for people that are betting big money on these games uh, because they scored a touchdown. It throws the whole entire thing off. What the fuck is that? That's some shit I try in my kitchen when I'm trying to make uh, baskets with my feet and <laughs> drop something on the ground. I try to pick it over my feet and kick it in the garbage can. What the fuck? You know, you have to have excitement in your life, folks. But please don't bet on these rigged and scripted games. They're 100% rigged, and they're 100% scripted, and it's all focused to get your money. That's it, man. These people, are, it's nothing straight and legit about this stuff. It's fucking faker than fucking ch uh, Campbell's Chicken Noodle Soup over there, folks. This stuff is fucking, it's completely rigged and scripted. I apologize about my language, but it just irks the shit out of me that I've been watching football for almost 40, you know, 50 years almost, like since 1975. And, you know, to find out that they rig and script it and uh, taking my friend's monies on these bets and shit like that. It's crazy, man. <clears throat> and it's not fair, and I don't agree with it. And I'm going to keep exposing the shit. It's 100% rigged and scripted. It's all about points. That's how they get you. The unders, the overs, the two and a half points, the three points. You bet on this stuff, you're going to fucking lose your money. It's WWE stuff, or even worse. Um, I'd rather watch a fucking uh, Pee Wee football but you didn't watch this bullshit because uh, professional athletes <clears throat> aren't this bad, folks. They're not this bad. The fact that the Detroit Lions and teams like that have never won a Super Bowl should let everybody know everything. Football's been around for 75 years, and these people haven't won any championships except in the 50s when it was the NFL. There's no money in it. There's no market. The teams that are in the Super Bowl are marketable. That's it. Look at the Pittsburgh Pirates. They get an awesome team, and they'll never be in the playoffs, never be in the fucking World Series again, ever. It's so dominated and, and unbalanced, it doesn't matter because they know people are going to follow the team anyway because there's history behind it. The same with Pat, the Patriots, same with the Jets. 
The Jets could be fucking 0-27 and, and you'll still have fans out there, which God bless you. <laughs> I've uh, It's rigged and scripted, folks. Just watch this stuff for fun. If you're going to watch it, don't fight with each other. Don't argue with each other. Don't bet on the shit. And uh, let me know what you think. Like I said, look at the record. 5-3, 5-3. New England's in there now. So, it's all, it's, all, it's, all, uh, it's all show, folks. It's all show. So, let me know what you think about this rigged and scripted football times. And uh, please like and subscribe. And uh, you folks, take care of yourselves. And take care of each other. And uh, God bless you.